Hi there, it's Tim Schrock, Mr. Wizard, talking about chief architect and roofs today. I've got a situation where an existing condition house has a basement, first floor, and second floor. You'll notice we've got 87 inches from first floor to basement, 97 and a half from first floor to second floor, and then 81 from second floor to the ceiling there. However, as you'll notice, our plate height of the rear wall here of the house is only 73 inches. So if I just drew my uh, my roof with the settings at this height of the ceiling, the roof would be up, up at the ceiling level and the, the wall would be at, uh, the plate would be at 81. But that's not the case we have now. So I'm going to show you the steps. I've started the steps with the basement, 87 inches there. But we'll see what the uh, steps are to setting the floor heights. Uh, this is the field measure to start off with. I've got the floor plans laid out, second floor, first floor, and basement, are the areas that we're touching right now. I go into my default settings tool and double click on floor and get my floor one defaults and you'll notice right now the floor one E level is set at 97 and 1 8 that's a default for my templates Floor above, remember, I want set at 97 and a half because my floor to floor height, zero is first floor, floor to floor height is 97 and a half. So I'm going to say floor above, A, marked right there, is 97.5 inches. Hit tab on my keyboard and my rough ceiling, finished ceiling turns into 86 according to this. Now I can adjust the thickness of second floor to um, to the level that we want it to be. For now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'll click Done. To double check what ceiling height I want it to be Notice we've, we have measured 86 inches, floor to ceiling. So again, default settings. You can find default settings also through the menu, and it's under Edit, Default Settings. Again, double click on Floor, and Finish Ceiling Height, F here, is 86 so that's fine 97 and a half is my first floor to second floor height here 86 is what chief has calculated the finished ceiling to be finished floor to finished ceiling so that's set and that's fine I'm gonna double click on framing go to first floor framing and the subfloor for floor 2 is where I can change my floor structure. I don't want to change my floor structure because it's set where it's at, but this is where you can change that ceiling joist, floor joist situation here. The thickness I've got set as a two by 10, so nine and a quarter inches. Click OK, click OK, and click Done. Go up to the second floor. Again, default settings, double click on the floor, uh, defaults and now we've got floor two defaults. I've already got the finished ceiling set at 81 inches. Finished floor to finished ceiling remember is 81 inches here. So I'm going to go click OK and done. Now when I double click on, I made a room here. This is where I'm going to start with my roof. Double click in, in the room, room specification, structure, it's set at 81. But remember, 
I want it set, I, I need the roof starting at 73. So I'm going to change my structure, finish ceiling just for this room to be 73 inches. Things will shift. For now, the numbers, and that's okay. Notice default got unchecked with these two uh, numbers with the relative heights, and the default was unchecked automatically by the ceiling height under absolute elevations. I'm using this finished ceiling height because, or the um, relative heights, because I have already set where this floor is uh, based on first floor below. And so I'm going to use the relative height, and Chief will automatically calculate what the absolute elevation of the ceiling is at this point. Now, again, I'm only setting where the wall plate is at 73 inches. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to look at the slope here. It was given as 2 and a quarter inch slope. So I will double click on my roof plane tool to pull up the defaults of our build roof. So 2.25 is two and a quarter. I want 12 inch eaves and 12 inch gables. I'm gonna check my framing. Two by tens, that'll be fine. Two by 12 ridges. 2 by 6 faces, 2 by 8 gable faces, and eave faces. Okay. 2 by 6 sub facia, I should say. 1 by, one by 8 faces. And I'm going to click OK. Now, in this room here, I'm in, I'm in uh, roof mode, right? So I'm going to right click in this room and open the object. In this room here, I still have my ceiling height set at the default 81 inch relative height. This room here is where we set the 73 inches of the wall plate. So to start my roof, I'm, I'm going to show you two different what happens if I, depending on the room. I'm going to start my roof here in this room, I'm going to drag along this wall, click and drag, and then I click in the up direction. You'll see the little tick mark right here shows the up direction of the roof slope. Now I'm going to do the same thing over in this room, in this direction. And then let's take a perspective. So because I set the ceiling plate of this height at 73, ceiling height of this room at 73, this roof plane was lower, was built lower than if I drew it over here. I don't want it up at the 81, so I'm going to delete this roof plane. But I can then go ahead and just drag this all the way across. I'm going to set this at 12 inch overhang because my plate height is proper, properly set by the 73, 12 inch overhang. Let's take a section and make sure of that, 73 inches. Finish floor. Yes, I want to display that layer. Now, see, this is being measured to the subfloor. I'm going to bring this up to finish floor. 73 inch finish to finish of this of this wall plate. That's great. That's where we want it. I'm going to close this, and no, I'm not going to save to this elevation. Go back and select this room, double click, structure, click back on default, things are set where it's supposed to be, done, 
and now take a full camera inside this room. And there we have it. 73 inch wall plate, 81 inch ceiling, two and a quarter inch sloped roof shown. Done.